Hey guys, welcome back to Tony's Autos. In this video, I'll be showing you how to ship internationally with DHL. Before we start, hurry up and check out our latest offer just under this video. So let's get started. In this case, for us to ship internationally with DHL, what we need to do first here is we need to actually access their official website. Now, for you to access their official website, you need to open up any browser that you have right now on your PC or in your mobile phone, and you just need to type in into Google DHL. Now, you should be able to see the official website for DHL here, so go ahead and click on it. So, it's going to be DHL.com. Now, the website itself can be different depending on your current region. So, in my case, it's going to be set as Philippines. Now, if this, if this doesn't not uh, actually uh, say, say the correct country here, go ahead and click on select different country here and select your country from the available countries here. But in this case, once you select that, you should be able to see or access your store or DHL uh, region. Now, in this case, once you've done that, what we need to do next is we need to start shipping. So to start shipping, you just need to click on track at the top left here. And you want to go, I, instead of clicking track, you want to click on shipping here. And from here, you have three options. So you have the personal and business, which is document and packages. We have pallets and container cargo, which is for business only. And we have BHL for business, which is for freaking shippers. Now, in this case, if you're just a pro, someone that you want to send a package to or you're not a business, you could choose the document pack and package option here, which is, D, which is DHL Express. You also have, if you're like, for example, your business or you have your own business, you can use business only here. Or if the freaking shippers here, you could go and use that. But for now, let's go and choose Explorer or DHL Express or Ex DHL Express here. Now, in this section, just scroll down a bit here until you see the section that says Ship Now. Let's go ahead and click on it. Now, from here, what we need to do is we just need to fill out the necessary details here. Now, in this case, you need to enter your name, your company, your country, region, your address, where you, this package is coming from, your postal code, your city, and the email address, and also your residential area. Now, also, you need to provide your phone number, which is your phone type here, and any uh, other VAT or tax IDs. Now, in this case, you could also uh, provide the destination ad address here. So, in this case, just provide their name of the receiver, the company, country, or territory. You could also uh, change a few things. So, for example, let's go ahead and set this to another country. Like, for example, we want to send to Australia. So, this is just an example. And you need to provide the Australian address for that. So in this case, I'll also including their uh, contact details, like phone, their phone here. Now, in this case, you could also add contacts, uh, uh, notes to this contact if you want to. Uh, yeah. So in this case, once you've added those details, you just need to uh, start, or you need to pay for the actual uh, transaction or the payment for this cargo. So in the next page, you just need to pay for it, and you should be able to get the print now or the print option for your uh, service here or for your order. Now, in this case, uh, that's about it. So if you found this video helpful, hit the like and subscribe button and watch our next video.